Hey guys, welcome back for a new trail preview. We are in Squamish today and we are going to ride one of the hardest and most technical trails there is around here. It's called Treasure Trail. I didn't want to do this video right now, but there is an important reason of why I'm doing it. I believe it's easier for me. Drop, drop, and drop again. This is, I believe, the coolest one. Nice. Drop, pedal stroke, drop. So the reason why I'm gonna film on Treasure Trail today is because Treasure was built by Andrew Boyd. Andrew also built Pleasure Trail, so he's done a lot for the mountain biking community, but not only because he's opened a ton of new routes uh, for the Squamish rock climbing community. So he's done a lot for both sports, but very unfortunately, he lost his house to a fire a few days ago. So one of his friends uh, did set up a GoFundMe and there is a link in the description of this video. So if you enjoy this trail, if you enjoy the work he's put in, feel free to donate. Thank you. So I'm on top of Treasure Trail. In order to get there, I'm gonna put the video right now, but there is about five minutes of uphill. You got some technical slabs, uh, you got some bridges, you got some tight corner. It's actually pretty fun, but when you are on that rock, you are about to do some of the most epic riding there is in Squamish. Okay, so before we start, I actually don't really know the trail super well, which is one of the reasons why I hiked it, so I could check out the lines and the feature. So first feature, I'm gonna set up for a nose manual. So front brake, Control and I drop. Up. Nice. Try to in, try to avoid the roots. So here I go onto that section because there is more grip. I move onto the rock face, slow down, drop. Nice. Outside. And here I drop. So this is actually an interesting feature. It's basically a jump to land onto that uh, wooden feature. It's pretty technical, very tricky, lots of risk to uh, fall on the side, so I'm gonna pass it for now. I'll come back, but during that period, uh, not gonna take any, any risk doing something I'm not comfortable doing. So let's move on to the rest of the track. Little bit of appeal, and now we get back into the near. So slow down, drop outside line and I'm gonna stick to the right of the trail there is a couple of options I'm gonna go for that double drop I believe it's easier for me drop drop and drop again nice here's a different option this is I believe the coolest one another rock face slow down drop nice Super smooth, incredible trail. And now we go for an appeal. And as you know, I really hate appeals. <laughs> as you can tell, I hate them. And I'm not very good at them either. Damn it. Well, sucks to suck. Eh? Okay, let's move on. This is definitely not the fastest line but it's pretty fun. Rock face, I open my line, I go where it's smooth, and here I'm gonna ride where it's smooth, and I drop. Nice drop. Oh, so fun. Rock face, I believe. Nice. I'm gonna jump that, and now I'm gonna jump far right. Nice. Scrub. Double. And this is interesting, so as you can tell, that's a skinny and even though that doesn't seem very difficult, it's not something I practice very often and I find it, I mean it's cool, look at it, lots of work that the builder put in, but for me, this is a risk. There is a high chance to make a mistake and uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna take the risk right now. It would be silly to get an injury doing that, so I'm gonna stick to uh, what I know and what I'm comfortable. So, next section. I'm gonna come here. I go wide smooth. Nice. And now that's another skinny as you can tell, but this one is actually, I find safer. Nice, and a little drop.
Nice. That was actually that was actually a bigger jump as I thought. Here we come into another very famous feature. So it's a rock roll then following a drop. Rock roll. Drop. Not too fast on the wood, even when it's dry. So here you can cut inside, but right now, too much risk. And I go for this weird feature, that's super cool. So here, I don't know why I didn't take right. So, another technical appeal. I thought I was gonna miss it, but... So... We are at the bottom of the trail pretty much and there is two different lines. You know what, I'm gonna show you both. So first one, just a nice rock face. You know what, I should nose manual it, and I do. Jump. And here there's a skinny, but this one isn't bad. That was nice. As you can see, there's a massive log right here. In the past, I've done it from the big tree up there. But if you fall, I mean, there's no way you don't end up at the hospital and there is absolutely no point on doing it, except, you want, uh, except if you want to get in trouble. But uh, definitely gonna skip that for now. This is, you know, fully in my comfort zone. This is chill. Even if I was gonna do a mistake here, the risk is not nearly as high as here. Okay, now let's get up there and I can show you this line, which is just as cool. Okay, so you know what? That feature was so much fun, I'm gonna do it again. And I wanted you to have a look and really appreciate the work that was put into it. You got two massive logs onto that massive stamp that like nose shape that has been added. You can see the screw right here. It's a little skinny on top and it, it's just so fun to ride. Like you come really slow down, put your front wheel pop and it just flows. It's really nice. So thank you so much, Andrew, for all that work. It's just incredible to ride and to see. So you recognize that section. You got the slab right hand corner, drop left hand berm. Uh, it was a ton of fun. So I'm going to do it again, but also because I took this line and here, you got another line you can uh, roll drop and it's something uh, I had done like four or five years ago while filming for Camelback, so I'm just gonna do it again. Okay, let's go for uh, that option. So you come here, set up your rear wheel, roll, drop. Whoa. <laughs> drop again, smooth this one. Nice wooden feature. And then we go back onto that same trail, carry speed, slow down, open your line. Move your rear wheel, pedal stroke, drop. And that was fun. So now I'm gonna go to that line I didn't do. Oh, I made the uphill a bit smoother. So here you go. Nice. Rock face, drop. Nice. Here I'm gonna go here. I like it, it's different. Here you want to slow down. Nice. They cut the tree but still pretty hard. And you're back on the fire rod. What a trail, thank you so much Andrew. But stay tuned, start finish, I'm gonna add one more trail to this video. Okay, so you guys have guessed. Let's go down Goranga. Slow down, open your line, gap this, slow down, careful here, hold on your bars, slow down, nice, man I love this track, push, pump, pump, gap, ah oh, so fun, and now you got to pedal up, 
but that's not my uh, thing. So I'll see you in a, I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, after that little uphill, let's get down the main part of Goranga. So I open my line here because look, I'm gonna go here, slow down, drop hard on the brakes, slow down here, and here. I'm gonna take it super easy because first of all, there is a cross, and second, I'm not gonna go to lower Goranga, I'm gonna go to Gurangover. So after 10-15 uh, meters of pedaling, let's go down it. I'm gonna get that, open my line, and here I'm gonna slow down off camber rock face. I drop my right foot so I can get more grip. Nose manual done this. Up. And we are done for today. Thank you for watching guys and massive thank you to Andrew for all the hard work you put on that trail. Make sure you guys click in the link in the description and donate to support Andrew with the loss of his house due to a fire. See you on YouTube or see you on the trails.